Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the star line by the co-founder and president of Axios. He's the executive producer of the Emmy Award winning docu-news series Axios on HBO. His latest book he co-wrote is Smart Brevity. We welcome author Roy Schwartz. Hello, thank you for having me. Roy, let's go beyond the mic. Your company has embraced the term smart brevity so much, it's even the name of the guest Wi-Fi. <laughs> Why are some people so against it? Oh, I think that there's a lot of people that wish things were different, that uh, people like to read long stories or had the time uh, to do those things. But unfortunately, like things have changed really rapidly over the last few years, and time has just become something that is such a valuable commodity. Uh, We're all inundated with emails and Slack messages and text messages, real news and fake news, that unfortunately, uh, we're overwhelmed. And so uh, we came up with this while we were at Politico, actually, we were looking at the data. And what we saw was that people were only reading the first 250 words of a thousand word article. 80% of people were only reading 250 words. And so we might have wanted people to read our stories the way that they were written, but the unfortunate fact was that they didn't have the time. And so at Axios, what we did is rearranged how we wrote items. We thought first about the audience, the fact that they're mostly reading it on the phone, and we reformatted how we did it. And that's how we came up with Smart Brevity. What's the one thing you were doing wrong before you discovered Smart Brevity? I think a lot of people sit down in front of a laptop and start typing, um, and they don't think about the reader. They think about what they want to say, how they want to say it. Uh, Smart brevity really changes that. It reverses it. It makes you think about the reader, the time that they have, being conscious of who's reading it and when they're reading it and how they're reading it, and trying to be efficient for the reader. And that really changes everything. When you're reader first, uh, it makes your writing much better from the reader perspective. Um, you know, the writers, writers tend to be selfish. They want to write things the way they want to write it, use the words they want to use. Um, but if you're thinking about the reader, uh, that's when you are doing a better job in terms of communicating your message. Why use a three-syllable word when a two-syllable word would suffice? Uh, absolutely. Quote, once you kick the bad habits, start new healthy ones, unquote. What was a bad habit you kicked? Oh, I think for me, I just didn't plan things out. I, I, I did uh, what I just said, right? I would sit in front of the computer and think about what I wanted to say and just start typing. And uh, what, what, what I do now is I really think about the hierarchy of what I'm going to say. And I make sure that I say the most important things at the top. I break it out in terms of what's new and why it matters. I try and be much clearer in my writing. Uh, I was always fairly concise um, because I'm dyslexic, so I kind of tend to write short anyway, uh, but I didn't plan it out quite as much. And so now my writing is, is, is much more precise. Co-author of Smart Brevity, Roy Schwartz, joins us beyond the mic. Roy, it's time for the Rocky Nate. Eight random questions. Answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. There's no pressure. Great. What's your best memory from the Robert H. Smith School of Business at Maryland? Oh, late night working with teams, you know, up all night to, to put together the presentation. Do you have a scar? Do you remember how you got it? don't have any significant scars. Um, I fell out of a window when I was a little kid, so I have a small scar on my hand. What's your favorite moment from the last time you did a dog tag bakery fundraising event? Oh, that was that was a lot of fun. Uh, they gave me the flag that they had uh, on the roof uh, as a thank you for raising uh, $10,000. And you always remember it. Roy, where is the place you take your family on vacation? Uh, we love to go to the Caribbean. So we like to explore, so we try and do a different island every time. Uh, So uh, just love to go somewhere new. What TV show do you always watch reruns of? Oh, if if I'm up late, I'll watch uh, Star Trek. What's the last movie you watched? Um, I think I sat down with my son and saw the new Pixar movie. uh, Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. Good movie. Yeah, yeah. What band do you find timeless? Oh, the Rolling Stones. A friend once described you as, quote, innovative, collaborative, and always a leader in sales, unquote. But what's one thing you can't do? Um, I can't do. I will not jump out of a plane, I can tell you that. Are you scared of heights? Uh, no, just, just don't like parachutes. So am I. <laughs> it's time for one big question. With the co-author of Smart Brevity, Roy Schwartz, be on the mic. Roy, how has Kelly Hudson and Landon made you a better man? 
oh, it's, it's so great uh, watching your kids grow up and thinking about doing the right thing to be the right role model for them. Uh, it just makes you calm down in difficult situations and think about like, what are they going to think if you do this or that? So they just make you better by, you know, wanting to teach them how to be a good person. How has the 140 character society changed the world for better or worse? I mean, I would say things are worse in the sense that people's attention spans are much shorter and uh, people need a dopamine hit every few seconds. They're picking up their phone, they're looking at it, they're looking at social media. Unfortunately, I think all of those things are worse and going to continue to get worse. Um, But as much as we might want that to change, we have to adapt uh, to that changing world. And and that actually brings us back to the book, like why I think smart brevity is so important. How have you evolved since implementing smart brevity in your life? I'm just a much better communicator. Um, you know, I think people understand what's happening in the company much better. Uh, we, we practice it internally. We do updates for sales, for marketing, for accounting. And so people know what's happening and they know why it's happening. And so being able to share really valuable information um, in, a, in a succinct way has made that all possible. He has a scar from falling out of a window, loves to go to the Caribbean, and nah, he would never jump out of a plane. His book is Smart Brevity, The Power of Saying More with Less. Author Roy Schwartz, thanks for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank you. That was fun. And that, my friends, is a Beyond the Mic shortcut.